I was I I used to work with a couple of guys. From the Ku Klux Klan? No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> I used to work with a couple of... Well, actually, I don't know, actually. I don't, uh. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, and, you know, you get into the you, the classic male conversation of she's hot, da-da-da. I'm talking about, you know, when you talk about celebrities... Oh, you talk about celebrities. Oh, right, right. You know, hey, yeah, yeah, what yeah, you yeah. would do if you could and blah, 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 and who with and blah, uh -huh, blah, uh -huh. right? And... <clears throat> These two guys I used to work with, they're white. They were white. They are still white, to my I was knowledge. Say, are they still? <laughs> and I said, they said, oh, yeah, so-and-so would get it. I can't remember who they were talking about, but she was coloured. She was black. And one of them made a comment that I found really interesting. They said, oh, yeah, she'd get it. I wouldn't marry her, though. And I thought, whoa! Why? No, but... Because did... she was black. That's is, that what, what, is that what he said? Well... I said, well, why is that? Carl Ford, don't jump to conclusions. Yeah, don't be yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Clarify yeah, what yeah. he means. I said, why is that? He said, well, you know, one, 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 one of them for my wife. And I thought, oh. mm, okay. <laughs> that's interesting. And I said, hmm. Didn't pay you to be a racist. He goes, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It ain't like that. <laughs> oh, you know, don't be too, don't be too sensitive is what he said. I said, I'm not being sensitive. <laughs> anyway, I said, if, if you would treat someone differently on the basis of their skin colour, chances are you're probably at least a little bit racist. I've never once ever said that I would never sleep with a non-black woman because she's non-black. It doesn't happen, ever. Ever. If anything, I'm not picky enough. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, it's not going to happen. But I don't see myself as racist. This is why. And I think, and I basically said to these guys, they got they, they they said that I was getting defensive, and I thought I'm not getting defensive. I just called you out on your racism. And you you got yeah you and, didn't like and, it. And and yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and they got they got defensive. They got sensitive because mm. I'm calling them out on something that's making them feel uncomfortable. I think. And I, I said, look, you have sex with a black woman, but you wouldn't. Why you wouldn't marry her? You're a racist. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Men, men, men that... back in the twenties and the thirties, all over were like you were like that. If you're saying to me that you would never marry a black woman because you wouldn't want your child to come out mixed, you're a racist. And it's the same for any other race, for that matter. You wouldn't if you're not white and you'd feel the same way about a white woman. You're a racist. Mm. I'm, I'm not that picky personally, but maybe that's a flaw or not. I don't know. Racism does not solely come in the form of overtness and with this and with that let's string them up on a tree that's not just that's not the only type of racism 